name's Peter Clayton. Welcome to Peter Clayton Wildlife Photography. Today I'm in sunny Gloucestershire. What a beautiful day it is as well. I'm literally here to visit the Forest of Dean, which is 10 minute drive that way. Now I've never been to the Forest of Dean before, but I've heard it's got a lot of wildlife to see and explore. Now, some of you may have heard that they've got wild boar here. Now I've never seen a wild boar before, but I'm really excited to see one. Now, if you want to join me today, I'm hoping to go out and explore and photograph and film these wild animals in a natural environment. Now, you need to be quite cautious with wild boar because I've heard they can be a little bit dangerous and you should not approach them. So, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also a little bit excited too. So, join me today. Let's go and see what we can do. And hopefully, we get some good shots, some good film to share. And, uh, yeah, learn some tips and tricks on the way, which I'd like to share with you all. So, let's do this, shall we? Let's get my gear together, pack the car, and we can head out. Okay, so the car's now packed. I say we get in the car, take a drive, hit the Forest of Dean, and see what we can see. Let's do this, yeah? Let's take a road trip. So here we are, we've arrived. There we are, the sign, the Forest of Dean. We are on location. Around us now is Britain's largest population of wild boar. Exciting, right? Now I need to find out where these boar reside. I need to use some field craft. I need to find out where their roots are. I need to find their tracks. I need to look for muddy wallows. I need to try and work out where they're going to be so I can photograph and film them. Apologies for the noise, I am on the main road. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. Now, I need to get out there and see where they are. But I've just learned that today is the season of baby piglets. So that means humbugs, which means the sow's gonna be very protective of their young. So with a bit of luck, we might even get some baby pigs as well. It'll be amazing. So I'm gonna head out now and see what we can do. Let's try and find some tracks and try and find some boar. Fingers crossed. Okay guys, check this out. I've not had to drive far and look what I've found. Already obvious signs of pig activity. If you see here, they've been snuffling through the ground, literally changing the landscape. But this is exactly what the forest needs. By moving clumps of soil like this, they're ploughing the forest, which in turn means they're planting new seeds for future trees to grow. So the wild boar is actually doing a great job here. Now, I know there's boar here. This and this is an obvious sign. So I just need to keep looking now. I'm definitely on the right track. It's amazing. I can't believe they've done all this. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so I've been out for most of the day today using my field craft, trying to find a good place to set up my trail camera. Now, all the signs I was talking about earlier are right here for you to see. You've got boar prints, you've got a boar run there that leads straight into the undergrowth. Now, I believe that the boar 
rest in there during the day and come out to feed at night because boar are mostly nocturnal animals. Now I was here early this morning around 5am and I heard a lot of snorting, I saw a lot of movement but I couldn't get close enough to photograph but I heard a lot of shuffling around in here mainly. Now this to me is a perfect spot. So what I've done, I've set my trail camera up, not sure if you can see it, I'll show you shortly but it is there, keep looking. And I'm hoping to pick up the wild boar as they walk in and out of the undergrowth. So just so you can see where it is, if I just get up here. There's my camera, right there. And I expect the boar to come up this route here. And the camera should pick them up. So with a bit of luck, we'll get some boar movement on the track cam. So we'll pick it up after a couple of days and we'll see what footage we get. So I'm very excited about that. So, finally making some progress. Okay, so I've just come back from the Forest of Dean and I've collected my trail cameras that you saw that I put out earlier. Now, I've looked at the footage already and I can't believe what I've got. It's exactly what I wanted. So as you saw earlier, I was looking for signs, looking for tracks, looking for like worn routes that the boar would use. So with that information, I was able to place these trail cameras. With a bit of hope, my little friend here, Mr. Boar, would walk in front of these cameras, set them off, and we'd be able to capture some footage and try and learn their behaviours. Now what I did learn was that the boar come out at certain times, mainly around dusk, and they come out at the same time pretty much every night, which is brilliant for me to go out and capture them for my photography. So let's have a look at this footage now. You can see what I'm talking about. You're not going to believe this. Check this out. So that's it all. My time here at the Forest of Dean has come to an end. It's been a great time. I've really enjoyed myself here. But the question you're all asking is, did I capture wild boar with my camera? Yes, I did. I got some fantastic photos, photos that I'm happy with, and we will see them at the end. But before I show you them, I just want to talk to you first about wild boar in the Forest of Dean. When I came here, I was expecting wild boars to be everywhere. Everything I read online, people would stumble across them, dog walkers would see them, they'd be very common. That is not true, okay? I've come here, I've spent three days, I've been out from dusk till dawn, walking for miles on end, looking for these creatures. They're very shy, they're evasive, they're nocturnal, and to top it off, they're somewhat aggressive. So it was very, very difficult to find these animals. 
So I had to graft, as you saw earlier, I had to look for tracks, I had to look for signs, I had to put my trail cameras out, I had to do some research. But with the trail cameras, I obtained valuable information. I was able to learn their routines, the times they would come out, the times they would feed, what boar lived in what area, did they have babies, were there sows, were there boar? It was just, for me, really good information, which I had to compile, think, and cleverly go out there with a plan, not just walk around the woods aimlessly. And I suggest you do the same, okay? Because it took me three to four nights before I could even see the boar and get decent photos. Now, with the fact that the boar come out from dusk till dawn, means you're talking about low light photography, which is also another challenge. So walking around with a camera handheld, you're gonna be shooting at very low shutter speeds, which will result in camera blur. So you need to think about how you're set up. You're gonna have a tripod, maybe hide out, maybe camp out and hide away so they can't see you. Because what I found, the minute my shutter fired, they'd see that, they'd spook and they'd run away. This is not good. But this is all stuff I've learned, and this is what I'm hoping to pass on to you guys for hopefully have a better, successful trip than myself. Now, did I get the photos? Yes. Did I get video footage? Yes. Are they my best photos? Mm, I'm happy. Was it a waste of time? No, because I learned a lot from this trip. Now, would I come back here? Yes. Would I do things differently? Yes. But I've got basic fundamentals now of where to go. So next time I come here, it can only be better. So I really hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I really hope this has been useful and helpful for you. Any questions, do comment below. I will do my best to answer. But if you do want to see more of my photography, you can follow my social media pages, Peter Clayton Wildlife Photography. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But if you did like this video, chuck us a like, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you at my next wildlife adventure. Thanks all.